Hello and welcome to Stocks and Junction. Today's video is a quick unboxing and review of this, the new Farewell Tour Class 43 HST that's just arrived today. Uh, it's the first video of two that I'll be doing. Um, when I've done this one, we should do um, a second video of fitting the chip and giving it a test run. So I've got a lot of work to do because I need to finish this truck off round here before I can do the test run. So I should be getting all of that done today. Right, so first of all, standard Hornby box. Got, I'll let you have a look at the uh, writing. You can obviously pause it and have a quick look. We've got a bit of the history and some nice pictures of the loco. And it looks pretty good. Uh, haven't opened this yet, so you're going to be seeing exactly the same as I see for the first time. Uh, polystyrene tray in this one, not the cardboard trays that have, uh, a lot of the other models are coming in. Nice little card top there. Grab a knife, and gently cut one of those tabs off there so that I can fold this over and keep it intact. So, what have we got? Standard booklet. Telling you about lubrication, tells you how to remove the body and fitting the chip. So that'll be useful. A little bag with some uh, dummy couplings. Sorry, they're not focusing. Sorry about that. And two locomotives. I do like the fact they've put these rubber pads on here to stop the. Uh, locomotives getting damaged and when you open these don't try and pull them out they always have holes underneath so put your fingers in underneath and push it up until you can get a firm hold and this is the dummy car they're both uh, chippable I believe so it's got a reasonable weight it's a bit heavier than the old hst dummy cars the, the original hst days and so the grill work looks really nice you can see all the way through that so the uh, handrail is actually separately fitted so that's really good i've got to say that the ends look really nice as well and there's a lot of detail on these bogies here I don't know if you can pick that out I'll try and get a good angle but yeah there's some good detail there so paint finish pretty crisp the writing's crisp only one thing I have noticed which I don't think you'll be able to pick up on the camera unless I get the right angle Yeah, you can see it there. There's some marks there. Can you see those? So on the yellow here, there's some marks. They do look quite awful. I hope this is just a one-off and not going to be on all the models. So going to the front detail, the... Uh, little bit there for the horn, where the horns would be looks quite good the light surrounds look really good as well and some nice detailing on the bottom edge there I do apologize the camera just keeps going out of focus yep don't seem to have those markings on that side which is good because it will actually be going that way on the layout so that's quite handy no actually it won't be it'll be going the other way yeah, no, it will be coming this way, so that's not so good unless I have it running the other way around the layout. Alternatively, 
have it sent back. So looking at the top, some nice etched grills there. They're really, really good. They are very good. And the fan detail underneath. All of this is raised, all of this there. I've got to say, it's definitely a nice improvement on the originals and on some of the others. So that's pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. I'm just going to take the other one out now. I can feel that this one's very, very heavy. Considerably heavy. Now that's a bit worrying. As I lifted it out, this little bit of black plastic fell off. So I don't know what that's for. So I'm going to make sure that stays in somewhere. It might just be an odd bit not needed. So, yeah, this is extremely heavy. Very, very heavy, which is brilliant for me because with my helixes, I do need a good weight to be able to get that pull to go up. I mean, I'm just going to compare this. For those of you that may have a class 50 Hornby, it feels hand in hand about the same sort of weight. So they've got good pulling power. So I'm going to think that this is going to be pretty uh, impressive pulling power. So it does look good. Again, the etched grill's there, but you can't see right through on this side, obviously, because there's stuff in there. You can see through the window, though, all the way through. Detailing again is the same, it looks pretty good. So a bit of a, a blemish mark up there, you can see that little spot. So a few issues with the paint job. And I can actually see a little bit of the yellow bleeding down into the grey there as well. I look like they've been rushed a little bit to me. The other side looks pretty good though. One thing I have noticed, I mean, looking into the cab, you've got the seats there and some nice cab detail. I don't know if you'll be able to pick that up on the camera. There we go. So there's actually, you can see the controls and all of the uh, things in there, which look really good. That's quite nice. But one thing I did notice, if you look, when you're looking in, and down you can actually see right through to the wheel bogey look you can see me turning it there so actually any light that's coming up from there is actually going to spread down under through that gap into the track because they haven't filled that gap in behind now I know that that may be quite tricky especially where they've put all the detail at the back further back how they've done it Uh, I mean, it's it's still a very good model. So I, I do like it. So we'll wait and see how she runs. That's going to be the uh, the big one, isn't it? So just seeing. Yeah, it is all wheel drive. So all of these wheels are drive wheels, which is really good. And like I said, it's got a great weight to it. So I think this is going to actually pull really, really well. And considering that I have quite a few uh, coaches. Yeah, so I've got eight coaches to go with this. So it's going to become quite a very large train. So to pull those eight and the dummy, that's nine coaches up that helix, is going to be uh, quite a, a feat, really. So let's hope that um, it's going to do its job. Now, I bought this, even though it is the farewell tour livery version, because I wanted the original blue-grey Intercity, and trying to get hold of them now is really, really hard, so... I thought, to be honest, it's not a lot of difference between that and the proper blue-grey liveried one. So, you know, it's going to do the job perfectly for me. 
and I've got to say, apart from a couple of those little blemishes, they do look the part, they do look good. I mean, look at those handrails, they really stand out. I mean, you know, they do look good. Look good. I think the uh, yeah, the windscreen wipers are separately fitted as well. So it's got quite a lot of good parts to it. I mean, especially like I said, the etched grills and fans on the roof. They look terrific. And all of these little details, there's so many little details here that it's really hard to pick out in the camera. They all are raised. Well, you know, it's a, it's a good job. Actually, look at that on the roof. There's a mark there on the roof. There's a mark there on the roof. And you've just seen me take those out of there so carefully and I haven't laid them down upside down. So there you go. Another mark this side. Looks like paint's just been missed completely. So model, mo the model itself, 10 out of 10. Painting has let it down. You, you're only getting a four out of ten out for that one. I mean, two both locos have got blem um, blemishes. Both have got damage to the roofs. I do hope that you know this is a one-off, maybe, or are we going to see a lot of other reviews coming out with exactly the same problems? So, yeah, quality control should have been a little bit better there. I do feel. But for me, not a problem because later on, these are going to get weathered. These marks on the roofs are going to disappear. That mark that's on the lower side on the dummy, that'll get a little bit of weathering over it. You won't notice it. For me, it's not a problem. For somebody, though, that maybe collects the models and wants a pristine model, this could be a bit of an issue. Anyway, that is the first part of the review. We'll uh, wait and see how they run. Um, I've already got uh, Twin Pack Class 43 TTS sound chips, so I'll be fitting those in the next video and giving it a test run around the track. And we'll see how performance comes with it. So hopefully it's going to, uh, you know, do itself proud with that one. I would think it will, feeling that loco weight. Anyway, thanks for watching for now, and I will see you all shortly.